Hello friends, I hope that you're doing well today. I'm going to share another fun Christmas craft with you. So I hope you're not getting sick of them. I have one more after this and then I promise that I'll be done. But I wanted to share with you one of my favorites which is Christmas crackers. We're making a hundred of these for the kids at our church. So I thought it'd be really great to kind of share with you. I have a full video with all the things um, that I'll link below if you're interested in that, but I'm going to show kind of do the quick version so you can see it. You just need a few supplies. So you're going to need wrapping paper, ribbon, tape. You'll need um, disinfectant toilet paper rolls. If you don't want to, you know, use what you have, you can buy them online. So I'll have them linked below. And then um, you can also, you'll also need some scissors. And I'm going to use a ruler <laughs> to give you the dimensions, but mostly I just eyeball it. And then you'll also need something to put inside of your crackers. So I like using candy. Um, this is like a pinata assortment, a variety pack that you can get there. So it has like bubble gum and hard candy and all sorts of different kinds of candies. And I always include a little bit of chocolate and then an eraser. Um, that's what we're doing this year. You could also tailor this. You can include stickers are really great too. I've done that before or like little charms so you can customize this however you want it doesn't need to just be for kids you can also do this for your co-workers too who doesn't love a roll full of candy and treats so um, these are great for placeholders if at your table place little mats with name cards you can do that um, just as little gifts but they're really fun and super simple so let's get down to business here so out of this whole roll I will normally get three enough to wrap three of the toilet paper rolls um, so that normally works and I'm just going to tear this down so we kind of have a straight edge so I can show you what I kind of do here it does not have to be perfect so you can just visualize cutting this into like three equal portions okay and you're just going to take it and you want to have enough so that you can twist the edges and then you want enough too so that you can roll it over and cover the toilet paper roll completely so like i said i just eyeball it and i just make three cuts and i usually cut all the wrapping paper first and then i do like an assembly line but like i said i made a ton of these so that's the reason so you'll have this and i'll give you the measurements here but as you can see, if I put this in the center, there's plenty of room for me to twist up the edges and then also it will wrap around the toilet paper roll too, so it's completely covered. So you don't have to use my measurements, but in case you want to, there you go. So let's do inches here. So it's about nine to 10 inches. Normally I cut it nine, but this time I did 10. And then if I'm correct, it's about 12 normally inches so so 9 by 12 or 10 by 12 will be perfect for this process okay you're going to take your toilet paper roll you're going to put it in the center it doesn't have to be perfect then you'll kind of wrap it up and then you'll take a piece of tape you don't have to use tape this is the tape. <laughs> just make sure it's a little bit tight you might have to re-roll it Alrighty, and then you'll just tape it over like that. Ready, and that gives us the form. So I'll let you sneak in there too. You can see the half of the toilet paper roll. Okay, and then you're just gonna take it. You can also use paper towels and the rolls in paper towels and just cut those down too. Some of those is what some of that is what I use too. So you're just gonna take it, give it a nice twist like that on one side. That's going to give you kind of your little cup to stuff, right? and then you're going to just give it a tie. And these are not traditional, they're just fun and super, super easy, and we're going to tie them off. Ready? And then we're going to start stuffing. I like putting in the big items first. You can even put like lollipops in these, and it works out great too. So you're going to just stick it in there. I stick the big items in first, then I put in my chocolate in my eraser whatever you're putting in is totally fine and then i stuff with maybe five or six pieces of candy so i just kind of stick them in there you can give it a shake 
then it's the perfect amount, <laughs> not too much candy for a candy coma. And then you'll take it, the other ribbon, and give this a twist, like that. That's the way it looks. Now you can use the full toilet paper roll and they'll be more structured, uh, but we had to make a lot of these, so I used half. And I think it works out great. They're still really cute. So you'll give it a double knot, just like that. And then I like to make the edges really curly and pretty. So you're just gonna open your scissors. If you're an adult, you might wanna do this if you're working with kids, and you're just gonna take it, pull, and it creates some really pretty ringlets. Do the same thing here. Just be careful, especially if you're using sharp scissors. And then if you want, you can even cut down the edges too so we can make them kind of around like that. I normally don't do this. I'm being fancy for you guys here. There we go. And you have the most adorable little gift to give <laughs> and that you can make with your kids. So I have a whole stack here. I hope that you like this project. Please be sure to share it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And please hit the notification bells um, so that way you can see when I post new videos. I hope you guys are doing great. Happy holidays to you. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear your favorite holiday tradition. Thank you. If you celebrate the holidays. If you don't, then just what do you like to do? <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Mm -hmm.